Welcome to the Golden Mayor Commemoration Coin Momentum Luncheon as we celebrate Israel 75 and mark 75 years of the U.S.-Israel relationship. Honoring the late Prime Minister of Israel, Golda Meir, and her nourishment of close-knit relations between our two nations. We welcome you as we gather momentum for H.R. 984, introduced by Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Andrew Garino, legislation authorizing the U.S. Mint to issue a commemorative coin marking this momentous occasion. In addition to his work in business, Bobby Rechnitz is also involved in many global philanthropy projects, primarily affecting the U.S.-Israel relationship. Mr. Rechnitz is founding chairman of the Jerusalem Conference, the Iron Dome Congressional Tribute, and the President Shimon Peres Congressional Gold Medal Committee, a high-profile project that marked Israel's 70th anniversary and honored then President Peres' 90th birthday. Before I ask Bobby to come over and assume the MC role here at the luncheon, I would like to ask the Bukharian Chief Rabbi Yitzhak Yashua to deliver the invocation. Honorable member of the Congress, leaders, friends, I am privileged and thank God to be today with you to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the State of Israel and the coin because the name is Golda, so it's a gold coin in the memory of the Prime Minister, Golda Meir, that in few days she's going to, if she would alive, she would celebrate 125th birthday. Our MC Chairman, the Golda Meir Commemorative Coin Committee, Bobby Rechnitz. As we gather here today, we recognize this legislation and its celebration of the life of the late Prime Minister of Israel, Golda Meir, through the issuance of a commemorative coin by the U.S. Mint, this legislation helps recognize an individual who has cemented her place in the heart and souls of America. In honoring the late Prime Minister and the close-knit U.S. relations she forged throughout her life, we highlight the special bond that has been shared between the United States and Israel. We would like to thank a few individuals our co-chairs for this luncheon, Richard Heideman. We are so grateful to the ambassador for being here today and would like, as we commemorate the decisions of the National Assembly of the Azerbaijan Parliament in opening an embassy in the Jewish State of Israel. The decision to open an embassy in the Jewish State exemplifies intercultural leadership and regional harmony as it marks an incredible step towards strengthening the diplomatic ties and cooperation between the two nations. The establishment of an embassy is a testament to the growing relationship between Azerbaijan and Israel and will pave the way, pave the way for increased trade, cultural exchange, and mutual understanding. Today we celebrate the establishment, the first Shiite country, Shiite majority country, to have relations with the State of Israel. To Brock Pierce, a globally respected and self-made entrepreneur, we would like to thank you, Brock, for making this luncheon possible. I'd like to call upon Congressman Steve Cohen of Tennessee. We must have Israel as a country. We must have a home for the Jewish people. We saw what the Nazis did in World War II, what's been done to Jews throughout history. Rabbi Yitzchak Waldman, the executive vice president of the Curious Sons, medical center known as Laniato Hospital. Friends, Laniato Hospital was founded by an iron man, but a holy iron man. The Sands Klausenberg Rebbe was on a death march from Warsaw to Dachau, and he was shot in the arm, and he knew there's no way he's gonna ask for help. So he made a vow to God that if God helps him, he will build a hospital where nobody will ever have to fear to ask for medical attention. So in our hospital, we treat equally Jews, Arabs, and Christians. I'd like to call upon Congressman Paul Gosar from Arizona. I am proud to support H.R. 987 as a fitting and long overdue recognition of Golda Meir's contributions while honoring her life and legacy. We're going to ask Randy Weber to please come up and deliver remarks. The sole reason, in my opinion, that the Middle East has any smidgen 
of stability that it has. Thank God for Israel. Please welcome Representative Darren Soto. We have nowhere else to go. But she said this in defiance, in pride, in knowing the dedication and the connection of the people of Israel to the state of Israel. U.S. Representative Juan Vargas have to have both parties, both the Democrats and the Republicans together supporting Israel. And Ladies and gentlemen, it's really a pleasure to introduce Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who represents Florida's 25th Congressional District in the House of Representatives. I am so honored and I appreciate and offer my thanks to Chairman uh, Bobby Recknitz for his advocacy as the chairman of the Golden Meir Commemorative Coin Committee and to Ezra Friedlander, of course, and Brock Pierce, Joe Lipsy, and Yadel Pearlstein. Congressman Troy Balderson. Thank you for what you do and thank you for being here. Congressman Lawler. Tomorrow I will be leaving uh, on a congressional delegation trip uh, with Speaker McCarthy uh, to Israel uh, to celebrate the 75th anniversary. Buddy Carter. We share the same goal of democracy, the same values of democracy. I'm going to ask Willie Raffogel, Chief of Staff at the IDT Corporation, for the next introduction. What I've read about Congressman Schneider and his stellar reputation and record on Israel I'm very honored and privileged to introduce Congressman Brad Schneider. We lay the groundwork here. The next generation door to door will carry that mantle. Ralph Warren Norman. I would like to leave you with my congressional coin as a symbol of our commitment. Ladies and gentlemen, Congressman Dan Goldman. A raft of anti-Semitism that is uh, increasingly showing itself around our country. Uh, to make sure that we are promoting Holocaust education. I give you Congressman Jerry Nadler. Israel is truly a miracle, and is truly a miracle in every way. It had 650,000 people and was invaded by five Arab armies immediately. Almost nobody thought they could survive, but they did. Congressman McCarkett. I'm very excited. To partner with y'all, I'm very excited to continue the advancements. I'm very excited to continue to promote democracy in the region, and I'm very excited for my trip in August. I'm going to ask William Darrow, the CEO of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations, to address us for a few minutes. A mere 11 minutes after Israel's founding on May 14, 1948, America recognized Israel, a fact that we, as American Jews, are certainly proud to acknowledge. I was in Bahrain last week. The commitment to Israel, the mutual commitment to the Accords, is not at all in peril. They're not concerned about any of the internal politics in Israel. Please welcome Congressman Keith Self. It's simply amazing. The same people, the same religion, the same language, the same land. Israel, I consider one of the miracles of the modern age. Congressman Molinar. Israel is, without question, America's greatest ally. End of sentence. Earlier in my introductory remarks, I thank Brock Pierce uh, for being here and for being one of the hosts. And I think it's very important that at this point we call him up and we hear from him. I wear the Holocaust numbers of the late Ed Mossberg. Uh, and I have for the last few years to honor him and the work that he did to make sure that we remember so these sorts of things don't happen again. It's a privilege to co-sponsor this and uh, continue to support the wonderful work that you all do. Uh, God bless Israel and the US United States of America. Thank you. Representative Eli, Eli Crane from Arizona. Whoever blesses Israel will be blessed and whoever curses Israel will be cursed. And I think it's wise as a country and as a Congress that we remember that. At this time, I'd like to introduce Pastor Dan Cummins, who's also known just as Pastor Dan. As a Christian minister, it is my honor to stand before you to represent the friends of Israel. Here we are in something that's completely nonpartisan. Everybody here has one common goal, to build the America-Israel relationship. And I don't think anybody emulates that better than Mort Klein and the work that he's done all his life. Mort, please come forward. This is an all-male ministers, and they say, how can you be appointing Golda Meir to be a minister? 
And Rabin said, I appointed her because she was the best man for the job. Congresswoman Marianne Miller Meeks. As a teenager, watching one of the first world leaders as a woman, Golda Meir is Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, so it's very special that we not only recognize uh, the 75th year of statehood, uh, but that also one of the major countries, major democracies in the world to have a female uh, prime minister, female leader, was in fact Israel. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings our event to a conclusion. Again, I just want to reinforce the feelings that we have. Today was a very good success in terms of seeing a real bipartisan effort in promoting the United States-Israel relationship and furthering it in recognizing true leadership. As I mentioned in the opening, Golda Meir was an American Israeli Prime Minister of Israel. You need to think about that. She was both. She was American and Israeli.